Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane. Today we're going to be having a look at NEW. This company was founded in 2014 and they are the world's leading provider of smart urban mobility solutions. NEO is committed to continuously providing global customers more convenient and more environmentally friendly solutions for smart urban mobility vehicles to redefine urban mobility and to make life better. But this isn't where it stops. This is where it gets interesting for NEO. Now NEO is a global brand in urban mobility that embraces technology. They embrace style and freedom. But most importantly, NEO currently designs manufacturers and sells high performance smart electric scooters. NEO currently has a streamlined production portfolio consistent of seven series. That is seven different types of mobility smart electric scooters. Not to mention, within each type, there are different variants. Now this does wonders for NEO. This absolutely does wonders because this diversifies their portfolio and what they can provide for different people who have different needs. Some customers perhaps have short range needs for their mobility scooters or for their electric scooters. Other customers could have long range needs. Some customers could desire comfort, some customers could desire safety, and some customers could desire speed. Some customers could desire style or more technology or the latter. Nevertheless, it seems like Neo is a type of company that wants to appeal to everyone who's interested or ever interested in getting a scooter, an electric scooter, but most importantly, but most importantly, they're also taking a unique perspective at targeting people who are not just interested in getting scooters, people who probably never thought they'd buy a scooter. There are a lot of electric scooters running around and what Neo does is more, they mostly build mopeds, but they, but mopeds are often classed as scooters as well. It can get a little bit complicated, but Neo also provides electric scooters. Those are the ones that you see on the sidewalks. Those are the ones you see running around the cities. Those are the ones you see that are really fast, a little bit dangerous, no one wears a helmet. Now this model is quite unique. Top side at a top speed of 70 kilometers per hour and up to a range of 140 kilometers on a single charge. Now this vehicle is the th now this vehicle is the fourth generation which is really good because that tells you that they've been through because that tells you that they've been through a lot of development to get to where they are with this particular vehicle is built upon the batteries are lithium batteries which is what most which is what most high performance vehicles batteries are made of is lithium batteries now here's something really unique for for security there's anti theft protection which is really important anywhere in the world that you live in Security is always a concern for, er for any and everyone, but especially if you're spending over 3,599 euros on a vehicle like this, you want to make sure that there are systems in place to keep your vehicle safe and to keep everyone connected, to keep you connected with your vehicle. There's a full site of connectivity through the new app. Not to mention this particular vehicle comes in three different configurations of colors. Now they do say that this vehicle in particular is built for speed, but in my opinion, for electric scooters or electric mopeds, the majority of them are indeed built for speed. They're very quick, they've got a lot of torque, which means that they can get up to speed in a short matter of time. Then you can understand how useful this can be in certain situations if you want to get a move on quickly, even in traffic or at stoplights. It gets you to your destination a lot quicker because of that quick acceleration. It's faster than a lot of cars within the first 10, 20, 30 meters. It allows it to shoot it up to an incredible high speed in a matter of a few meters. That's great for getting off the line quick and people use these vehicles a lot for delivering. Now they are different configuration depending on the range that you'd like to get. The more range, the higher the top speed, the more expensive this vehicle will be. Now what I'd like to do really quickly is to have a look at the new technology share price. In dollars it's actually $25.91. I think this is incredibly cheap because this company makes electric vehicles. And electric vehicles, especially mopeds, especially scooters, they're becoming exceedingly more and more 
popular, but the technology that this company can create that will become more valuable as the world is currently gravitating towards a fully electric world, a fully electric city. One of the main reasons I'd say the share is cheap is simply because the share supply is incredibly low. You're looking at shares outstanding, 67 million. And you're looking at public flow, 67 million. Now, personally, I don't think this number is completely correct. That the same amount outstanding is the exact same amount that's in public flow. It doesn't fully make any sense. So what I've done is that I visit Yahoo Finance. You can usually try to get a more correct estimation by visiting other sites and more sites. It will give you more clarity in your research. And this is what I've done. So what I've discovered is that share outstanding was indeed correct, which I had a, I had a feeling that that was correct. It's the public float that I was worried about because there's no way that the public is going to have the same amount of shares that are in supply. It doesn't always make any sense. In fact, it doesn't make any sense. So share supply, 76 million. Similar to what was shown on Market Watch, 67 million. It's close, it's around 9 million difference. The share supply is beneath 100 million shares. It's incredibly low. Any share supply that is below 100 million, that's extremely low. Which tells me a lot. This company is heavily undervalued and heavily underrated that they're only gonna get better. They're only gonna get better and bigger as time goes on. But when the share price is really gonna go up to $100, $200, $300, that will be the day when the world, when majority of people are looking at electric vehicles as a more realistic target. As for now, everyday people are still thinking about petrol vehicles. Electric vehicles are secondary. So it's fair to say that we still got some time to go, but it's getting better. Just take a look at this graph and you see the numbers for yourself. The amount of save emissions, the total distance that's driven on electric power by this company alone. The equivalent trees that are planted. So it's clear that they're making it, they're making it extremely clear that they're saving a lot in this world. They're saving a lot for the planet. And this is good. They're saving a lot for us as well. Now to finish this video off properly, I got this article here. Seven must know tips to choose the best electric scooter in 2021. And I find this article to be extremely helpful because they go through a lot of things in terms of durability, what you need the scooter for, what kind of battery, what kind of battery pack you're gonna need in terms of range. And you gotta think about power and performance as well. There's a list of things and this article can help a lot of people considering the user experience because different vehicles are gonna feel different on the road so there's plenty to understand but i found it to be extremely helpful so i thought i might just share this we've been through the basics on neo we've been through the share price we've been through what the company is what they're trying to achieve how they're doing so what i'm seeing so far i'm seeing great things from neo so i'm seeing great things from neo and that's exactly what i like to see so thank you for watching hope you found this video educational Subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment and of course I will see you in the next video.